to some FIFA news. Morocco stunned the world as it crashed Portugal's dream by 1-0 for finals. With an incredible performance, Morocco has become the first African team to make it to the semi-finals of the FIFA World Cup. And the highlight of the match was one man crying inconsolably. And that was none other than the legend Cristiano Ronaldo who suffered a disappointing end to possibly his last shot at the World Cup glory. Now, without a doubt, the 37-year-old will go down as one of the greatest of all times players and uh, football players. To give us more inputs on this news here, I'm joined on the broadcast by my colleague Gaurav. Uh, Gaurav, indeed, uh, that was a very sad moment for all the football fans around the world because um, that picture of Cristiano Ronaldo crying after the uh, you know after losing the match was really heartbreaking. What's your take on it? Over to you, Gaurav. Absolutely, that was that was heartbreaking, and uh, you know, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, the, uh, the you know his, uh, um, I mean, I don't know from how how he can bounce back from here, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, and 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 play on for Portugal. I think this is it. Uh, this is the point where he should uh, say that enough is enough. He's played, uh, I think, around three, four World Cups, and and he's had a uh, you know an, an epic career. Uh, but but uh, it's sad to see the way uh, you know the the, the end has uh, the end of that that glorious career has career has arrived. Uh, it's you know uh, everyone expected him to sort of you know uh, help uh, Portugal beat Morocco and go on uh, to the semi-finals, but that was not to be. Uh, Morocco has proved to be a giant killer. Uh, but for Cristiano, you do feel sad because he was substituted. Uh, you know, he was he was not started with. He was dropped uh, in the in the previous game and then in the last game as well. Uh, clearly, he doesn't uh, fit into uh, you know uh, the first eleven plans of of top coaches now. Uh, whether it's with Manchester United, uh, where we where he had a public uh, fallout with the coach and then with the owners, and then the, he gave the explosive, explosive interview. Uh, you know, to Piers Morgan, and then and then uh, something happened here as well. Uh, although, uh, uh, thankfully, this time there was no. I mean, at least uh, the Portugal Football Federation has clarified, and the coach has clarified. Uh, you know that there's there's no uh, sort of uh, there was no rift about it, and Ronaldo accepted the decision of of not starting with him. But still, an extremely sad uh, right. uh, situation, and you know. Uh, you you feel sad because the guy has been a legend, an absolute uh, uh, you know marvelous uh, goal poacher, and uh, along with Messi, uh, the, the the greatest player of football player of our of our times. Right, right. Thank you so much, Gaurav, for all those inputs. Now some more news coming in from FIFA. Defending champions France trashed England by 2-1 in the quarter-final match of the FIFA World Cup 2022. For England, Harry Kane smashed a brilliant goal but failed to take his side across the line. France is all set to face Morocco in the semi-finals.